everybody, my name is Samaya Siddiqui and this is going to be my first ever video on YouTube. So this is going to be a get ready with me for iftar slash khatam al-Quran um, while I answer a few questions about myself. So uh, let's get into it. I'm just going to put my hair back. There we go. Okay, so I've already uh, moisturized my face. Um, so what I use for moisturizer is this right here. It's so good. I have oily skin and it still works like a charm. It's really, really good. So if you haven't tried already, definitely try it out. And um, yeah, I didn't put any primer. So it's just going to be something light, not too crazy, not full glam. So I am 25 years old. I have graduated from University of Houston, which is in Houston. My um, my major is kinesiology. So that's what I graduated in. So I wanted to become a physical therapist and that was my thing until I realized that I'm not interested in medicine at all. Uh, I don't know what really sparked it. Okay, so, um, sorry, this is my son, which will be one of the questions I will be answering for you guys. Um, yeah, so ever since I was young, um, my family has a lot of doctors, so I guess that was like kind of one of the things that, you know, was, was just a given, like, oh, you're gonna grow up, you're gonna become a doctor, or, you know, something in the medical field doesn't have to be a doctor necessarily. But um, yeah, so all through like, you know, elementary, middle school, high school, college, uh, anyone um, would ask me, what do you want to be? What do you want to become? What are you going to do? My answer would always just be doctor, straight up, like no hesitation. Just, it was honestly just like a rehearsed answer, just coming out. No, all I wanted to be was a doctor. Anyway, fast forward, um, I get to my junior year of, of college, I would say, um, and I was just like, oh wait, I don't even want to do this anymore. Um, a lot of my friends were also like in MIS or CIS, so uh, I felt kind of lonely, you know, being a, a, a science major by myself. I don't really have anyone, I didn't have a support system, I didn't have that many friends because honestly who hears of of anyone doing a uh, kines major so it was, uh, I thought it was pretty rare to find someone else who also did kinesiology and um, I met my husband when I was 18 years old, I met him at HCC which is Houston Community College, that is where I went right after high school so yeah, I met him at 18. We got married when I was 20. We just did a nikah. And uh, yeah, we waited till he graduated. That was one of the things. He wanted to graduate and I wanted to graduate too. But sadly, that didn't happen. So he graduated. Um, it was 2020, so it was November of 2020 and the second wave of COVID is when we decided that we're just gonna do it. Um, we're not gonna wait because it was already like almost two and a half years being in NICA. So it was just getting too long. I will share um, another time, another day of... Uh... So I'll keep how I met my husband for another uh, video, but just to kind of give you an insight, that is what happened. I'm just covering up um, some of my like dark spots with concealer now. I already put like the color corrector, so now I'm going in with some concealer. There, I'm just gonna let that sit and just let that dry um, while I do my while I do my eyeshadow. Um, so yes, I do have a son. He is 11 months old. 
He is going to be a year soon. Very, very soon. I can't believe it's already been a year since I've given birth. That's just, just so amazing to me. So yes, I did get pregnant when I was um, 23 and then I gave birth when I was 24. His name is Ishan Muhammad Ibrahim. That's his full name. I'm trying to think, like, what else? What else can I share about my about myself? Um, I'm the oldest of three other siblings that I have. So it's me, um, and then I have a sister after me, and then a brother, and then I have, um, after the brother, it's a little sister. And me and her are... 17 years apart if you can believe it or not yeah we we're pretty far age gap so that's something different um my mom she was pregnant when i was a, a sophomore in in high school so honestly sometimes i feel like i'm her mom we live in houston area i'm not going to be very specific but we, yes we do live in like the houston area um more like suburbs but we live in houston and i only have one son right now and i'm gonna wait to have more kids my birth story is a whole nother thing by itself so yes my birthday is november 8th 97 i am a scorpio if anyone's wondering I don't really know if I, I, I don't believe in, you know, the whole like sign thing, but it's weird how accurate it is. Like when you read about like your sign, you're just like, oh my God, wait, that's actually like me. It's, it's honestly so crazy, but yeah, I'm a Scorpio. Um, my in-laws do live with me. Uh, we live in a one story house it's so nice i've always lived in a two-story house so moving into a one-story house it was it was honestly so different but i'll show you guys the house sometime it's it's not like what you think of a one-story house it's it's very um it's high ceiling which is one of the major things that i wanted i wanted like a double story house with the high ceiling but um during the covid time like we couldn't really find any houses that you know that was to our need because um my husband's sister so my sister-in-law she also lives with us she's young so that's why like his parents and then her her name is sam um they live with us but yeah it's nice So inshallah, maybe in a couple of years we'll get another house once the family is growing. You know, it gets a little bit bigger, but right now we only have one child and I'm trying to keep it that way. Okay, so I used um, the Fenty Eavesdrop. That's it's a tinted moisturizer. It's just a lighter foundation. Um, and then also I love this Hourglass Concealer. It's really light and creamy. It's not too thick because I usually, um, for my more glam days, I'll go in with the Tarte. But this is really nice for every day. And I got more of a, a neutral color. So it doesn't look too light on the skin. I'm just going to let that sit while I do my contour. So I just used the LA Girl, uh, this is the Pro Conceal in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And also um, in the Fenty Ease Drop, I'm in shade 11. So what I'll do is I'll just take um, a brush. This is the Makeup by Ariel Brushes. And I'll just put some on the brush. I just feel like it gives it a cleaner look. And then I'll just go ahead and Put that onto the skin. Like that. Just gives it a very, you know, natural finish and I'll blend it out once I'm done putting it on. 
So with this, I feel like you just have more control over um, how much you're trying to apply at the time and it doesn't look too harsh. It looks very natural to the skin. And then I'll just go in with more if I need some. Just like that. I'll do the other side. Also my jawline because clearly mine has disappeared since I've given birth. Crazy how much a woman's body changes after she gives birth. So one of the things I love doing is makeup. That's one of my hobbies. I've actually started um, a business you can search me up on Instagram, it's called Style by Simo. That's my nickname. And that's where the that um that name comes from. I'm just gonna blend this out right here. I like blending out my concealer before going in with uh liquid blush. So first make sure you do all your creams together and then you go in with your powder. Okay, so I have all my concealer blended out. Just blending it and also a nice tip is like once you're done um, putting everything with brush it's always nice to go back in with a beauty blender and just you know tap it in just so all the product goes nicely on the skin Okay, and then next I'm going to go in with my liquid blush. This is the Rare Beauty in Hope. I love this shade a lot. This is nice for um, brown skin girls. I really want to get the shade um, Happy and then Lucky. Lucky just looks so beautiful. My sister has Happy, so I've tried that out, but I'm so excited to try Lucky. It's just like a bright, like, hot pink. It looks so beautiful. I just wonder how it's going to wear on my skin, though. So I just go in with the light hand. Just dabbing that into the skin. Same thing with the other side. I also like to put some of this on my nose, forehead, and also the chin. Just so it brings that glow and it looks like I have color on my face. It looks super natural. And then just go back and blend that out. And then I'll go in with um, some Laura Mercier translucent powder, but it's not a translucent one. This is the one in, um, I believe it's honey, translucent honey. Yeah. And I already took out the creases with the beauty blender. And then this just makes it, just gives it a more flawless finish. Same thing, other side. And I'll just take this everywhere. Just very light with it. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to go in with my Pat McGrath blush. This is in the shade Paradise Venus. If you guys need um, really good blush with really like incredible formulas, like long lasting, definitely check out Pat McGrath. It's, I love her stuff a lot and I have this in two colors and this is more like a terracotta color and it's just, it goes so well with my outfit. Yeah. 
Look who wanted to join us. Say hi. Hi. Is it? Can you say hi? You don't want this. Do you want this? Same thing to the other side. This is what the color looks like, by the way. Very pretty. I know I put on a lot, but I love it. I feel like mascaras really give it that look. And it brightens the eye up a lot. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, set the rest of my face with some powder. He is back again. So I love this lip liner a lot. I usually, um, I would use the MAC uh, Soar. I love that shade a lot, but it finished. So I'm trying to use my other lip liners because I have a lot and I feel like I always uh, reach for that one. So it's nice to try out the other uh, colors that I have. And uh, for lipstick, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Ultimate, uh, what is this, Color Sensational Matte Lipstick. And this is in the shade More Blush. Also a very light pink. That's it. So one of my favorite uh, setting sprays is the One Size. This is the Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. The other one I really like is the Charlotte Tilbury, the um, the Flawless Airbrush one. I'm actually out of that one. I'm waiting for the Sephora sale so I can stock up. But this one, um, I usually wear that first and then put this on. It really seals your makeup in all the way. So I'm going to go and do that. Wanna, you want to go down for a second, Bubba? I'm just gonna go and spray this on. And honestly, it wears like a hairspray, which is weird because that's what my husband thought it was at first. He thought it was hairspray. But it's not, it's setting spray. Like these earrings. These were actually um, a wedding present from my mom. Yeah, they're really cute. This is like my everyday earrings. I love to wear these. This is just how they look. All right, so I have both earrings on. Just gonna do my hair. Just gonna lightly brush through it. Cause my natural waves are coming out right now and I really like them. And my hair is about that long. I cut it uh, recently and honestly I'm, I've been kind of loving it because I've had hair, long hair for so long. I've been going out for like my wedding time from 2020, well before 2020 so it's nice to have short hair, it's a little, it's a fresh look. I have this um, mini brush that I love a lot. So I actually have um, two wedding rings. So this is the one that I got for my Nika. Yeah, they're both cushion cut. I don't know if that's coming in. But yeah, it's, um, I'm not really sure exactly what the design is called, but it's cushion cut. Um, and I think it's like with the halo. And then this is the one I got for my like Rixity. And it's two rings so I didn't get a, a band with this one it was just a ring but I got a ring and a band with this one and that's how it looks but I've been loving to wear my Nico one lately 
I don't know, I just feel like this band is really thin and it just looks like, you know, very dainty but also, you know, a rock at the same time. That one's more like thick, but I like this one. Just still my neck. It smells so good, especially when you go to sleep at night and you just, uh, that smell just, it stays, it lingers and it smells so good when you're sleeping. And I like to pair that with the Carolina Herrera, this is a good girl one, it smells amazing. So I'll just put that over my clothes. Amazing. You guys need to try this. So good. Oh, lastly, before I forget, I'm going to put a little bit of Godzilla in my waterline. I love Godzilla in my waterline. I know a lot of girls don't, but I personally love it. I feel like that just elevates your whole eye look. And the one that I use is the Urban Decay, um, the 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil. And this is in the shade Perversion. Alright, well, this is the fit. It's really pretty. It's all um, embroidery work. And then these are the sleeves. So this is going to conclude today's video. Um, I'm just going to be posting about my life, um, fashion stuff, just stuff that I love to do, my everyday routine. Um, so if you guys like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please comment down below. I will also link my Instagram and my TikTok below so you guys can go over there and check me out as well. But um, that is it. Thank you for watching. Bye.